I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I feel like I recognize this place. Like I'm supposed to, at least. But... But I have this... This gut feeling telling me that... I don't belong here. And looking at your expression, I think you agree that something isn't right. I... I can't explain what's happening, though. I... I know that I don't belong here. I have this strange sensation in my mind like like looking at a puzzle with only one piece missing you can see that it's incomplete you can see that something is just slightly off but but there's another feeling too there's this feeling of, of calmness. And I think you feel it too. I was looking around while you were still asleep. I was trying to figure out where exactly I am. And I saw all of these pictures a lot of them, you were in them. I would assume, then, that this is where you live. And I'm a stranger in your home. I know for a fact that I don't know you. I feel like I should, though. I feel like like I need to know you. Like I want so badly to. But that sounds... That sounds like I did this on purpose. I didn't. The point is, I don't know you. I don't think you know me. Yet you aren't screaming. You aren't trying to attack me. You aren't asking me questions about who I am, what I'm doing here, what I want. You're just looking at me. And you seem more confused than anything. But there's something else, too. I can't quite put my finger on it. But there's something else. It almost looks a bit like... happiness. Do you... Do you know what is happening to me? Do you know why I'm here? I... I don't mean to cut you off, but... If you're worried about sounding like you've lost your mind... I assure you, you don't have to be scared of that. After all... I just woke up in a complete stranger's home... With no idea how I got here. I... I feel so strange, yet so okay with it all. Whatever you say, whatever explanation you give, I'm sure that it almost has to be crazy. It almost has to sound ridiculous. 
after all, what I'm feeling is... is ridiculous. It makes no sense, so of course the explanation for it... it must have to make no sense as well. So just... just tell me what you think is happening... I would really like to know what you think is going on. Yes, that is my name. How did you know that? I... I could have sworn that I didn't know you. Yes? Yes, I do like to read. I guess that was an easy thing to figure out. Um, yes. Yes, of course I understand that the worlds and books are different from our world. Why are you asking me these things? What? I... I suppose I have imagined that a few times. Sometimes I'll be reading and... I'll come across a character whom I really admire. I'll think... It would be so wonderful to meet them... I imagine what it would be like to talk with them. What it would be like to see them right in front of me. I don't understand, though. What does that have anything to do with this? What? No, no, you can't just gloss over that. What do you mean I'm not in my world anymore? The things in your room, they look so similar to what is in my world. What am I saying? This is my world. Isn't it? I... What book am I looking for? You mean... This one? The one that says... Hunter x Hunter? Oh. It's just... Hunter Hunter? Okay. What exactly do you want me to do with this? You want me to flip through it? I don't understand. Okay. Uh, that... That looks like... That looks like Gon, and Kilua, and Leorio, and... That looks like... That looks like... Me. I don't... I don't understand. How do you have a book about... All of us. I... I'm not from this world. So this book that you have... It's like a window into our world. And I... 
I somehow fell through it. What do you mean by that? What do you mean I might have been pulled through? You're hiding something. What exactly did you do? Did you... Did you do this to me? Did you bring me here? Why would you... What do you mean you didn't mean to? What... What did you do? You... You wrote something? What do you mean? Did you write a... a spell? Is magic real here or something? You wrote a story. Where is it? Where did you write it? It's on your desk? Let me see it. Whatever is going on, it has to be related to this. I need to see what you wrote. I need to know what you did. Please, just, just let me have a look, okay? If it truly was an accident, I won't be mad. I just, I need to see for myself, okay? Let me see. This writing on the cover of the notebook. Is that the title of the story? Huh. I... I guess that's a nice title. A Strike of Scarlet. I... I'm going to read a bit of this. Is that okay? I won't be mad. Whatever I read, as long as it proves that this was an accident, I won't be... You think that I'll be freaked out by it? Right now, the least of my concerns is being freaked out over a story. Trust me. Let me see now. I wake with a start. There's a noise in my room. Something I haven't heard before. Someone is looking through my drawers. Someone is looking through my closet. I feel the presence of another person, almost like a sixth sense. I open my eyes slowly, and my blood runs cold. What I am seeing cannot possibly be real. What I am seeing can only be the remnants of a dream that my mind has yet to shake away, because there is no way that Kurapika is standing in my room, staring at me like that. I... I don't think I need to read any more. I know it was accidental. I can see that now. But... But you did this. <laughs>